Good morning, dear students. Today, let us discuss Vogel approximation method for finding basic feasible solution of a transportation problem. Vogel approximation method yields a very good initial solution, which sometimes may be the optimal solution. So, there is uh, some algorithm. Step one enter the difference between the smallest and the next to the smallest element in its column below the corresponding column and difference between the smallest and next to the smallest element in its row to the right of the row. Step 2 select the row or column with the greatest difference and allocate as much as possible within the restrictions of the rim conditions to the lowest cost cell in the row column selected. In case there is a tie occur, you use any arbitrary tie. Step 3, cross out the row column completely satisfied by the location just made. Then step 4, repeat step 1 to 3 until all assignment have been made. So now let us take up one example. So there is a, a company has three cement factories located in cities one to three, which supply cement to four projects located in town one to three four. So there are four project sites and the company produces cement. Now this cement we have to supply this cement to the project sites. So each plant can supply daily six, one, ten truck lots of cement respectively. So we have three cement factories. One cement factory can supply daily six truck lots. Another factory can supply one truck lot. And then third factory can supply ten truck lots of cement daily. Then the, there are four projects. So the project one require seven truck lots of cement and project two require five truck lots of cement. Project three require three truck lots of cement. Fourth project require two truck lots. So now the transportation cost per truck of lot of cement from its plant to its project site are is follows. So from factory one to town one, the transportation cost per truck lot is say 200. Here two is written, this is in terms of 100, we have to convert it. So from factory one to town two, it takes say 300 rupees per lot. Then factory one to town three, it takes say 1,100 rupees per lot and from factory 1 to town 4 it takes 700 rupees per lot. So now let us construct a table, transportation table. So there are three sources and four destinations. The first one is factory one, factory two, factory three. This is the project one. Then this is D1, this is D2, destination 2, destination 3, destination 4. 
problem hand side these are the sources and these are the destinations so cost of transportation from source one to destination one is two here is three next is eleven next is seven from source two transport cost is one zero six one from source three transportation cost is five eight fifteen nine then the amount of production from source one is six truck lots of cement from source two one truck lots of cement from source three it produces then truck lots of cement then demand for project one seven truck lots of cement project two require five trucks lots of cement and project three require three trucks lots of cement project four require two trucks lots of cement so now the total demand is to have 15 17 truck lots per day and total production per day is 17 so this is a balanced transportation problem if the given problem is not balanced then we have to construct a dummy row or dummy column in order to make the balance in that row or column we will put the transportation cost is zero if demand is more than supply then we have to construct one dummy source if demand is less than then production then we have to construct dummy source or dummy demand is required so this is a transportation table so now we have to find initial basic solution by using Bogel approximation method let us see so in the Bogel approximation method first we have to find out the differences between the cost in the row wise and column wise so first look in the first row the smallest cost is 2 next is 3 so you find out the difference is 1 so you write 1 here and in closing bracket then second row the smallest zero next is one so you write the difference is one then third row smallest is five next element is eight so difference is three you write three here similarly in the column the smallest is one next is two so you write the difference one next column zero next is three difference is three then third column the uh, smallest is six next is eleven so difference is five then fourth column the least cost is one next is seven then difference is six so first we have to find these differences next step look the differences and choose the greatest one so the greatest one is here so you make allocation in this corresponding column so in this column the smallest cost is one so first you put the sign so here is one here is two you take the minimum so you write one here so one is the remaining so we can cancel exhaust that so now the second row is exhausted you make the cross sign then again repeat the previous process so in the first row the smallest coach is two next is three you write the difference one here for second row is exhausted then third row smallest is five next is eight so you write the difference three here in the column second row is already exhausted so you 
find out the difference 2 and the 5 3 then 3 and 8 5 then 11 and 15 this is 4 then 7 and 9 this is 2 this is the second round then you choose the greatest one so greatest one is here so you select the second column and you find out the least cost method so zero is the smallest cost but there is no entry in the second row so you leave this next three and eight so you go to this cell so here is five here is six you take the minimum one five you cancel this then you cut and you write one so now the second column is exhausted then second row is exhausted then again you repeat the same process so without this second column so what is the smallest two so next is seven difference is five you write five here then smallest is one next element is six so one in six five then the smallest is five without this so next is nine so difference is four then in the row without second row two and five you write three here then three and i oh this is already exhausted then third column the smaller uh, without second row so difference is four then seven and a nine two so now you select the largest one oh the, not this this is already exhausted you write the cross mark hmm. so you select the greatest one so greatest one is here so you go in the first row the smallest member is here so here is seven here is one you can write one and cut this then you write here six so now the first row completed the second row completed so there is only second column also completed so we have only last row and you choose the smallest cost five so here is six here is ten you can take six finish then four is remaining next course is eight this is already exhausted so you go this here nine here is one here is four you write one here then you write three then the last one here is three here is three you may write three so now all cells are allocated so let us find transportation cost 2 into 1 plus 3 into 5 plus 1 into 1 plus 5 into 6 plus 15 into 3 plus 9 into 1 so first one is 2 15 1 30 45 9 so you plus 9 14 15 20 22 carry 2 4 7 8 1 0 2 so hence 
transportation cost is rupees 102 into 0, 0. You multiply by 100. So it becomes 10,200. When x11 equal to 1, x12 equal to 5, x24 1, x316, x333, x34 1. So this is the solution of the given transportation problem. So now we have to supply cement from factory 1 to destination 1 means from source 1 to project 1, one lot from source 1 to project site 2, five lots. From source 2, we have to supply one lots of cement to project site 4. From source 3, we have to supply six lots of cement to project site 1, three lots to cement project site 3, one lots to project site 4. So now total is five, uh, 6, this is ok, this is 1, this is 10. In column wise, the demand is 7, demand is 5, demand is 3, so demand is 2. So all the conditions are fulfilled. So there is one assignment, so you try solve the following transportation problem by using Vogel approximation method. You try this problem by using this technique. So now this solution we have to test whether this is optimal or not. If this is not optimal then we have to take further iteration by using UV method or Modi method. So we have to test the optimality. If this is optimal then this, this is the optimal solution. If this is not optimal, then we have to go further. So next class, I will take up the optimality test by using UB method. So today, let us stop here. Thank you.